Towards the end of the World War II, the Germans launched the emergency fighter program in an attempt to develop a low-cost but effective aircraft capable of holding the Allied bomber assault. That was catastrophic for Germany. Many of these submitted aircraft designs were jet or post-jet powered, such as the Heinkel HE-162 Salamander. At the same time, a more expensive aircraft like the Messerschmitt ME-262 remained in production until entering the frontline duty, indicating that not all research and development have been focused on jet aircraft alone. Germans had previously developed but had missed the Dornier Do-335 Arrow. The Luftwaffe's Dornier Do-335 fighter, constructed in 1937, was the quickest piston engine fighter in World War II. It had an unusual push-pull arrangement with one engine in the nose and the second one in the back, pulling the aircraft. Despite being designed in 1937, the aircraft did not see the light of the day until 1944, a year before the war ended. Hitler thought that the Dornier Do-335 would turn the course of the war, but it came too late to make a substantial difference in the air dominance of the United States and the United Kingdom. Only 48 planes were built and the vast majority were destroyed or captured by victorious Allied troops in 1945. Despite its unique push-pull layout, the Dornier Do-335 was mostly forgotten at an era when jet fighters were hailed as the future of air combat. Following the World War I, the German's high command saw the value of airplanes in future battles. German engineers and aviators created new weaponry and taught tank and aerial warfare techniques to both Germans and Russian forces under a secret contract with the Soviet Union. The Third Reich encouraged scientists and engineers to create technical advances, propelling the country to social and intellectual success. Claude Dornier, a German aircraft designer, designed the push-pull engine configuration in 1937, which provided the power of two engines while lowering the drag and increasing maneuverability. This novel method aided the country's post-war development. Dornier, a well-known aircraft manufacturer, noted for its enormous all-metal flying boats and the Do-17, a light bomber employed by the German Condor Legion during the Spanish Civil War. Dornier's push-pull engine was based on the dual engine's extension shaft and the pusher propeller that were utilized in his most successful flying boats. He submitted the German Aviation Ministry with a concept for a high-speed bomber powered by his push-pull engine, but the project was cancelled in 1942. Despite the government's enthusiasm, the Aviation Ministry concentrated on putting push-pull engines into seaplanes and heavy bombers. Dornier proceeded to build other aircraft, but he didn't submit his design until January 1943 when the Luftwaffe required a channel bomber, also known as a fast bomber. In 1943, the Germans suffered initial defeats in Africa and on the Eastern Front, pushing the Third Reich to seek a rapid end to the war. The Luftwaffe was hopeful about the Dornier Arrow, which was supposed to give them an advantage against the British Royal Air Force. The Dornier Arrow was built on the Do-335, which was given a new designation. To prevent cancellation by Hermann Göring, the plane had to be constructed in less than a year. Germany required a multi-role aircraft capable of heavy fighter and bomber tasks. The first prototype took flight in 1943, proving to be swift, nimble and easy to handle. The aircraft included novel ideas such as push-pull arrangement with a front engine in the nose and a rear engine in the tail which resulted in superior performance than prior two engine designs. This allowed the Do-335 to attain speeds up to 760 km per hour and climb up to 8000 meters in under 15 minutes. Dornier built the Do-335 as a dual-engine aircraft to avoid yawing violently to one side if one engine failed. It was powered by Daimler-Benz DB63 V12 engines and it had one 70mm MK-103 gun shooting from the propeller hub and two 15mm MG-151 cannons firing from the frontal engine. The aircraft featured a 500kg internal bomb load capacity and sat higher off ground to accommodate big diameter propeller systems. The aircraft also had sophisticated retractable tricycle landing gear that was modified to accommodate the added weight of the engines and large airframe. Other features were an emergency ejection seat and a dorsal fin that could be ejected using explosive boards. 
the German Aviation Ministry ordered 14 prototypes, 10 pre-production planes, one single seat plane and three A-10 and A-12 trainer planes for testing. The DO-335 was recognized for its exceptional flight performance and controlled acceleration, turning radius and ease of handling. The aircraft, however, was huge and cumbersome, weighing 9600 kg, making navigation difficult. The DO-335's limited sight lines made flying challenging as well. Furthermore, due to the rear mounting engine being located behind the cockpit, evacuating the aircraft proved difficult. Pilots had to jettison the tail fin and propeller using built-in explosives to safely eject. Despite the fact that the Dornier redesigned the ejection mechanism, it remained perilous for pilots since some explosives did not explode immediately. Despite these flaws, pilots appreciated the DO-335's maneuverability and hydraulic boosted flight control system. The DO-335 Arrow was finished in January 1945 after being manufactured in 1944, but its velocity and firepower had little influence on the Luftwaffe. The Luftwaffe planned to have around 300 planes by late 1945, while the third dry collapsed in May 1945. Dornier had over 10 DO-335 Arrows in the works, but only around 70 were completed. Despite the fact that certain combat units received pre-production DO-335s, no pilots viewed them in battle. In late April 1945, while commanding a flight of four Hawker Tempest over northern Germany, French ace pilot Pierre Grossman claimed to have encountered an arrow. He attempted to shoot down the hostile plane, but the German pilot rapidly reversed and avoided them. Despite attempts to fire, the DO-335 arrow was rapidly overtaken by the German aircraft. Grossman later noticed one of the incomplete arrows and recognized the aircraft from his April mission. After conquering the Dornier facility in Germany, the US Army recovered one of the Dornier DO-335 Arrow in April 1945. Before being delivered to the United States aboard the British HMS Reaper, the aircraft was researched and tested. It was kept at the American Naval Air Station in Norfolk for until being given to the National Air and Space Museum in Suitland, Maryland. The plane was returned to the Dornier facility for refurbishment in 1974. Ironically, some of the German engineers who worked on the plane were still on the job when it returned to Germany. Engineers noticed that the explosives meant to blast off the dorsal fin and rear propeller to allow the pilot to eject was still intact during the examination. The DO-335 was restored and shown at the Hanover Air Show before being transported to the Duchess Museum in Munich until 1986. It was later sent to the United States, where it remained the only door near DO-335 arrow in existence today. After the war, Allied country either destroyed or scrapped the remaining aircraft. Thanks for watching. I have more similar videos on my channel that you may like. See you guys in the next video.